When you think of top tier television shows, you think of shows like Breaking Bad, or It's Better Call Saul, or The Sopranos, or even Succession. But I feel like no one ever wants to talk about the show Barry, and after watching the series finale, I think it's safe to say that Barry should go down into the conversation for one of the greatest television shows of all time, and I will die on that hill. So Barry is a brand new HBO original series created by Alec Berg and Bill Hader, and the show stars Bill Hader, Stephen Root, Anthony Kerrigan, Sarah Goldberg, and Henry Winkler. The show is about a low-level hitman named Barry Berkman who travels to Los Angeles to start a new life as an actor and to get away from his violent and troubled criminal life. As he falls in love with the craft of acting, he'll realize that walking away from his past won't be as easy as he thinks. Now, Barry is a show that has a lot of great things going on for it, and I mean a lot. But the number one thing that I have to get out the way right here, right now, is Bill Hader's performance as Barry Berkman. Barry Berkman will go down as one of Bill Hader's top five best performances ever. Bill Hader is just captivating and staggering in this series. He brings in such a level of unease, rage, and fear into the audience. Barry Berkman is a very complicated man. He makes very awful choices, but you see how desperate he is for some sort of sanctification if you will and I thought Bill Hader crucially expressed the guilt hate and just inner rage of Barry Berkman so fluidly in here I think what I love the most about this performance is Bill Hader being able to express the emotions of Barry Berkman through just eye contact and eye contact only and also being able to express the complexity of this very unique character, if you will. You see how every choice affects Berkman, despite how much he wants to turn his life around. And Bill Hader's performance just phenomenally elevated that. And that is what I love about this story. You have this man who was trying his absolute hardest to turn his life around for the greater good, but you see how every choice he makes it just digs him a deeper and deeper hole. But also, there is more to the story than just that. You have stories of gangs of criminals fighting for power to rule the drug empire business in Los Angeles, to seeing how the consequences of Barry's actions impacts others, to the somewhat intriguing yet strange relationship of Barry and Sally, and also Barry and Jean. Which leads me into my next topic, which is about the supporting cast. The supporting cast here is just absolutely phenomenal. You know a show is good when you care about the supporting cast just as much as the main actor, if not more, because every single supporting character in this series stood out in their own unique way and had their own vibrant and colorful personality. Sarah Goldberg as Sally was heartfelt, intense, and tremendously emotional, and you see the conflicting nature of her relationship with Barry and how it impacts not only her, but the story itself as a whole as it progresses into the final season. Henry Winkler as Gene Cousineau was just stellar. He was one of the best additions to this entire series. You see how much of a moral compass and even a father figure that he is to Barry Berkman, but despite the good that he does for Barry and wants Barry to go down on this path of greatness, you see how even a good man can be broken down. Steven Root as Fuchs was amazing. He was wicked. He was soulless. And he was somewhat egotistical. He plays this person who uses other people to get what he wants in life. And by the final season, he has some significant character development. And I thought Fuchs was probably one of the best characters. From a character development standpoint, one of the best characters in the entire series. But the biggest spectacle out of the entire supporting cast... Anthony Kerrigan as NoHo Hank. Anthony Kerrigan's performance as NoHo Hank, that one is for the books. Anthony's charm and charismatic nature shines with every scene NoHo Hank is in. And it's kind of funny because NoHo Hank, he's such a cheerful and joyful person, but he has committed multiple murders and is a member of the Chechen mob. It's kind of bizarre because Hank, he does so many awful things throughout this entire series, but you can't help but to just love him and want to just hug him. If that picture does not scream fun, I don't know what will. I also want to give props to Robert Wisdom, who plays as Jim Moss, who is probably one of the most intimidating and most petrifying characters in the entire series. Now, he doesn't appear until later on, like around the end of season three, but when he appears, you feel his presence. One thing this show does really well is balance drama and comedy. I don't think I've ever seen a show balance comedy and drama this well before. Barry is one of those shows that implements comedy where it fits, and when it fits, it hits hard. But when the show needs to like let its dramatic moments mellow out, it lets it mellow out. When the show has time for a joke, or if they feel that the comedy has good timing, 
they're going to insert it there. Now in season 4, they turn down the comedy and crank up the dramatic elements, but given the events leading up to season 4, and why season 4 is such a very morbid, dark, and depressing season, it makes sense. Now don't get me wrong, there is comedy in season 4, however, the comedy is not as excessive compared to seasons 1, 2, 3, but when the comedy is here, it hits, and it fits perfectly. Also, I want to give love to the production. The production in this show is just incredible. Every scene just looks so crisp and so clean that you really got to admire the attention to detail in this show. This show has a very unique style to it that comes across as not only visually appealing, but it feels like you are a part of this world. For example, there could be a scene where Barry is just walking down a street in a very quiet neighborhood, and you see a transition from him walking in the neighborhood to him walking onto the beach, but it's just done so fluidly and so transparent. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm trying to say, but I think the clever and carefully crafted editing along with the production sets really makes me feel like I'm a part of this world and I'm looking at it from the eyes of Barry Berkman. And I have to give props to this show for telling an entire story with only four seasons and each episode of all four seasons was only 30 minutes long. That should not go under look. That is very impressive. Not every show can pull that off. But I think that's kind of the beauty of having a 30 minute runtime for each of your episodes because you can avoid filler time and even worse, filler episodes. Like each episode felt like an important part of the story. Like every single episode was just great from start to finish. I, yeah, I think 30 minute runtime worked because if each episode was like 45 minutes, yeah, that, that probably would have caused a bit of dragging. But hey, it worked for the story, it worked for me, so I'm not complaining. This show has great moments of tension, especially in the last two seasons because whew, that, that, that was a lot. I love a show that can subvert my expectations every single time. Like, if I go in thinking, okay, this is gonna happen, or this is gonna happen, and then it doesn't, it's like, oh, well, I'll be damned. But I love that in the show. I love a show that can make me think one thing is going to happen, but then the complete opposite of it happens. And here in Barry, yeah, they mastered the art of unpredictability. Very, very transparent here. This show also gives us a look into the world of Hollywood from three different ways that I picked up. First thing is how actors are viewed in the public eye. If an actor makes one simple mistake, one little outburst, they lose everything. And that is a very scary thing to think about because it's so crazy how one, one mistake can just ruin their entire career. Yeah, sure, they'll make a comeback, but the process getting to that comeback, it will not be easy. The second thing is how Oscar award-winning directors switch their game up by directing superhero movies. They kind of took a jab at Chloe Zhao later on in season four, which, I mean, it was kind of funny, I can't lie. But there is some truth to that, you gotta admit, there is some truth. Take that information how you will, but... It's something that I peeped. And the third thing is how Hollywood takes real life tragedies that impacted the families of the victims and turns it into cheap entertainment. <clears throat> what a shame. To brighten things up, the Ronnie Lilly episode. Top five episodes of Barry, one of the funniest things I've seen on television in quite a while. It, it, that episode, it's, it's absolutely hilarious. As far as cons, I do have like one nitpick with the finale, but given how this show has wrapped up the entire story and even the finale itself as a whole, I am beyond satisfied. So that little nitpick is kind of like, eh, who cares? In the end, Barry is a one of a kind television series. This show manages to balance comedy and drama so fluidly, introduce to us some of the best supporting cast we've ever seen and even one of the best protagonists or even antagonists you could say, in the entire series, and honest to God, I am just thankful to have experienced this show. So plugging Barry into the rank system, I'm going to place this one into the pinnacle zone. But yeah, that is pretty much my review for Barry. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about Barry. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you satisfied with the series finale? Do you think this show should have ended with season three? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next one. After working up the nerve, almost equal in size, I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime, but never less than a five and never slept on a job. A killer trapped on your squad, yet never left the garage where your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes. Get to the button and press it's what the message advised. What's the threat behind a mess is where the testament lies.